Hello, folks. Time for another video and the shave. Yes, and it's that time of year where we're really close to Halloween. We're about a week away, a little less than a week. But I was kind of debating which soap I wanted to use today. I was going to originally go with PAA's Will of the Wisp. But then I said, you know what? Let me go with some cl 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 some clown fruit, which is pretty much the same exact scent. Plus, this is newer for me than Will the Wisp. I've had Will the Wisp for like, I think, four years now. Still smells great. For some reason, though, my Will the Wisp smells a little different than the clown fruit. I can't speak today. Than the clown fruit. I think maybe because of the age. And... They're both in CK6, but I will, using, I will be using the clown fruit today. And yes, the scent profile for this from my goofy New Jersey nose, I get like a very sweet and like root beer, but I'm going to pop up the scent profile of what it's supposed to be. Boom. So you can scope it out there. Because my nose is a New Jersey nose, so can't trust that. Anyway, we whipped up that awesome lather with the Peregrino brush today. I haven't used this in a while. From PAA with that nice Roswell knot. Of course, we use the Timeless Bowl. And Razor today, we're going to be using the Twig by Leaf. And there is a crown half DE blade in there. I don't know why I say half because it wouldn't be a DE blade if it's in half, right? It'd be a single. But we are starting off this awesome shape because we have to bring back the Halloween hobo. What's that? Well, I've done money shaves in the past with the Halloween hobo. We'll be starting that off with the tube, which is basically a two version of the cube. So let me wet the face a little. Take the old tube and let's create that nice Halloween <laughs> hobo look. Now, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that always around this time of year, near Halloween, I will use the hobo look. And I get that look with the tube, which is a pre-shave, by the way, if you're not familiar with it. The tube, I think now it's called the tube 2.0, I think. Look at that, yes. I am ready to hop on some train like a hobo. Awesome. I'm just going to kind of wet this up a little bit, get it kind of worked in. Still give me that nice hobo y look. And boy, that is slick. That is super duper slick. All right, we'll apply the awesome clown fruit. Technically, I really don't need to have a pre-shave because this is the CK6 formula. And for me, CK6 is plenty slick. But why not, right? I am flinging that lather everywhere, folks. It's on my sleeve. It's on my shirt. Yeah, but wouldn't be a Halloween hobo shave without it, right? And of course, I have 
Wow, they're everywhere today. But hey, right? It's supposed to be. All right. Let's go with the twig by leaf with that crown blade in it. Nice. You know, I haven't used a pre-shave in such a long time. And I have so many pre-shaves. But my favorite pre-shave is the Cube by PAA, which sits right next to me on a little docking station. Right there, ooh, it's slick. <laughs> is the Cube. Basically, the tube that I just used is the same as the cube, except it's in a tube form and perfect for travel. Nice. I actually went up shaving a lot last week because we had a few events. We had a wedding over the weekend. So usually I shaved most times two or three times a week. I believe last week I shaved like four times. I actually shaved twice off camera. And I actually told my wife, I was like, this feels weird. Actually shaving and not talking to anybody. But it was one of the few shaves that I didn't record during the year. I usually shave pretty much, I usually record every shave. And I recommend that if you do have like a very thick beard or growth, stubble, a pre-shave will definitely soften that up for you. My stubble actually gets softened up right before my shave in the shower. There are rarely any times where I don't take a shower before my shave. I usually always shower prior to my shave and some people do it opposite some people shave after their shower after their shave i like to shower before because it cleans my face nice and softens up my whiskers i got so much slickness going on feels like an ice skating rink on my face See if I can take care of those little trouble spots before I do my second pass. All right. Clown Fruit. I believe it has been re-released for this season. I was actually thinking of picking out Blue Sawin today. But I think Blue Samhain, actually, Samhain starts at the end of October. So I think I'll save that for the end of October, beginning of November. Most of my seasonal type scents are from PAA. I do have a lot from also Vanule, but I think the bulk of my seasonal stuff, because I'm not like a seasonal shaver. I shave pretty much with all soaps year round. I do have some sentimental seasonal, seasonal soaps I like to use. Just for sentimental purposes. Uh, 
That is nice. My face is so slick. This razor is just flying across it. Wow. So slick. I don't know if you can hear how slick that is, but that is really slick. And how did they miss that little spot? It's the only part of my face that the hair grows like in a goofy pattern. Wow, my counter is looking like a crime scene of water and lather and I am slick wow that is great that was a great great shave I think I would have empty good old Sigmund the Sea Monster sink and definitely give my counter a wipe down before I lean into it and get my clothes all wet, even though my shirt is just designed to get wet for shaving, to keep my channel PG rated. That's good. Good, good, good. And since it's been nice and cool here at night, in New Jersey, the water, the water mm. here is nice and cold. I do like that cold water rinse after a shave. Lancaster towel. People always ask me, when's the Lancaster towel going to be available for sale? And I'm like, I have no idea. I bought mine like... Everyone else. I actually bought two. And I sent one to a, a buddy of mine who... You know who you are. Who sends me goodies also. To keep my channel cruising. On my meager little budget. Alright. So that was the Lancaster towel. For the old water mop up. And... I got more water on my counter. Oh my god. To recap the shave, we started off with the good old making the Halloween hobo by using the tube. Now I believe it's called the tube 2.0. This is from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, or just in short, PAA. It kind of goes up like a uh, and down like a deodorant stick. And they give you actually, like, if you even take this cap off, they give you a nice little stopper here so it doesn't stick to the cap. Beautiful. Mm. Wow, my face feels really good. So that was Clown Fruit by PAA. Right there. Good old Clown Fruit. I did have the, uh, the other label. The holographic label, but I want to send that to a buddy of mine. And we used the Peregrino brush today. So they got lather all over. I don't even know if I'm pointing this the right direction. But it's the Peregrino brush with the Roswell nut. And we used the Timeless Bowl for our lathering needs. And we used the Twig by Leaf. Today, and there was a crown blade in there. Boom. Crown blade. Yes. Already nice and snapped in half for you. Good stuff. Alrighty. Now, for some odd reason, I never bought the matching aftershave splash or even the star jelly. I looked up my last shaves when I used this product. And I went up using a unscented star jelly. But since I picked up this awesome aftershave. 
a week or two ago from Barbado. We're going to use that. My skin has been feeling superb after this. There is a hint after the dry down of this Barbado of like a little citrus, not heavy duty. So you could put on another aftershave if you like with a different scent. I do now kind of feel why they call it a lotion and not an, an also an aftershave. It kind of leaves your face really supple and soft with a hint. There's such a little hint of a almost like an oil, not a very oily, but like a kind of for use like a bomb kind of a sensation, but I really love it. And my wife says that my facial skin has been feeling really soft. And it's supposed to be great if you experience, you know, a rough shave with some razor bumps. I have not had a bad shave yet where I've used this because my shaves have been very nice lately for a while now. So that was the Barbado After Shave Lotion, they call it. And it's in this huge 6.4 ounces. For some reason, I was saying 64, which would be huge. But it's 6.4. Even this is a big bottle. It's bigger than most aftershave splashes I do have. All right, folks. So if you enjoyed today's Clown Fruit by PAA Shave, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. And please subscribe. We need those subscribers. We were so close to hitting a thousand. I think we're like 170 away or something like that. So, of course, we'll have a giveaway when we read some more magic numbers. And what was that funk? Some fuzz. Some fuzz on my face. Yeah, my face feels so good. After that barber, though. All right, anyway, folks, so please subscribe, stay safe out there, and until next shave, Glenn signing off. <laughs>